and welcome to another edition of The Gadget Show Web TV. Now, one problem with keeping ever more of our life details on our mobile phones is that it can be very inconvenient if we lose them. We lose uh, all that contact information, vital text messages, and often photos and videos as well. Now, obviously, you can back up everything on your phone onto your computer, but that usually involves, at least in the case of uh, text messages and contacts, actually using the phone manufacturer's own software, which can be not very good and rather difficult to use. And then there's the problem of if you change your phone, say from a Nokia to a Sony Ericsson or a Samsung, it's very difficult to get the stuff out of Nokia's software and put it in the Sony or Samsung software. I've tried it in the past through Microsoft Outlook and it's worked sometimes, but it can be a bit hit and miss. So when I heard about Mobico.com, an easy to use website that enables you to back up your phone and transfer things from one phone to a different make of phone, or at least promises to with ease, I thought, wow, what a good idea. Especially as on the gadget show, I'm often testing different types of phones and I need to transfer my contacts and stuff from one to the other. And the web interface was very promising. I found it easy to select my phone with handy pictures, but then sent settings to my phone by text message so it can use the phone's data connection to send all the details you want to synchronise to the website. You simply go into Tools, Options, Synchronise, select the Mabico profile and off you go. And my initial backup seems to have gone very smoothly. There's all my 350 contacts backed up safely there on the screen. Now, the obvious catch is that it does use, as I mentioned, your phone's data connection. If you've got free data included in your phone deal, that's great. But if you pay for your data and you use it to uh, back up a lot of photos and videos, it could potentially cost an absolute fortune. However, it should only cost a few pence if you're just synchronizing contacts. Um, Another slight disadvantage is it doesn't back up absolutely everything on your phone. For example, uh, say the notes I've made, which is backed up by Nokia's software, isn't backed up by this. However, I do like the fact that you get 10 free text messages thrown in that you can send from your computer each month. And also, you can opt for a premium version, a paid-for version of Mobico, uh, which enables you to back up more than the basic 10 megabytes of uh, photos and videos. Um, though what I'm really keen to try out is how well it can then transfer my contact details from there onto another phone of a different make. First I tried this new Motorola Z10 which we had in for testing. Encouragingly, although it's a new phone, it was already listed on their website. Now I should be getting this screen here where I enter a PIN code as before, but instead I've got a text message, but a screen with a web address and a load of gobbledygook. So things aren't going that smoothly with the Motorola. Next I tried an older phone, Sony Ericsson's K810. This went more smoothly, I got the right settings through, but when it came to syncing, it kept failing and I ended up with duplicate contacts. So overall, I'm a bit disappointed. Um, and it's also worth remembering that there are other free backup services out there. O2 customers, for example, have their own free one called Blue Book. As for myself, I still think I shall be persevering with Nokia's own software and uh, memory cards for my particular backup solution. And although Mabico's worth knowing about, I don't think I'll be using it. 